Hey everybody, this is Scotty Milan with The Movement, and today I'm going to be going over one very common warm-up, dynamic warm-up that I use with a lot of people, a lot of my groups, and a lot of my one-on-one -on -one personal training clients. It's the medicine ball chopper warm-up. I have a video on my YouTube channel that I showed of me doing three different warm-ups. One of them was the choppers, another one was the Fab Five, and another one was the medicine ball matrix. Or are great warm-ups that I've done for Juan Carlos Santana at the Institute of Human Performance. In the video that I posted before, it's great if you can see somebody and then follow exactly what they're doing. But I understand that not a lot of people are very visual learners. So now I'm going to give you a few, a few verbal cues to help you out when you're doing this warm-up to try to do it the right way. So the first exercise in the warm-up are the medicine ball choppers. You're going straight up and down just like this. You're chopping. Okay? One very important thing that I tell a lot of people is that if you're not only using your arms, okay, it's not an arm exercise, you're using your entire body when you chop. So what I tell a lot of people is stand with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, maybe about squat distance, and imagine you have an axe in your hand, the medicine ball is an axe, and you have a piece of wood between your feet. Without letting go of the ball, you're chopping the wood, using your whole body, and you're just going to let the ball swing down between your legs. The chop is on the way down, okay? So the emphasis is on the way down. Chop down, a little bit easier on the way up. When you come up, you don't want to lean all the way back like this, but you do want to push your hips through. So just push your hips through, crush the wall, and squeeze your butt cheeks together like you're trying to crush a wall. So you do 10 of those, straight up and down. Keeping your back straight, not flexing your spine like this. One way that you can make sure you're keeping your back straight is if you try to keep your chest up and stick your butt out. Try to get your butt as far away from your head as you can. Then come back up and go down straight again, okay? That's 10 reps, so 10 chops straight up and down. The next one is the horizontal swings where you're swinging side to side. One verbal cue that I tell a lot of people is imagine you're leaning up against the wall or have a wall right behind you and you want to slam the ball against the wall as hard as you can, and it's going to bounce back off and go the other way, okay? So you wouldn't be able to go through the wall like this. You have to stop at the wall and come right back to the other side. So if you cut your body into front and back halves, you wouldn't be able to break the plane right here of the back half of your body. You wouldn't be able to go through the wall. <clears throat> when you are just doing this, and you're going all the way past your body, and you're kind of just letting your body kind of recoil back on its own, like the rubber band gets snapped back. You're really not controlling the ball, the ball's kind of controlling you. So the hard part of the exercise is being able to stop and change direction quickly. That's called deceleration. So you hold the ball straight out in front of you, swing it to the left, stop and go back to the right right away without pausing on each side and without pausing in the middle. We do this pivoting our feet so you get your hips involved because it is a warm up for the whole body. Other times when you do this exercise, you might want to do it without pivoting your feet, which takes your hips out of it. It's a little harder that way. But for the purpose of this warm up, you want to warm up your legs and your hips also so you throw the pivots in there while you're doing this. The third exercise is the diagonal chop. The diagonal chop is the vertical chop and the swing put together. So I say turn all the way to the right and reach up like you're trying to put the ball up on a shelf, like you're reaching up on a shelf. And then the same principle when you're going side to side, slamming the ball up against the wall from right here. Slam it up against the wall and go right back up. Okay, again, you're not gonna go all the way past your body here. You're gonna stop and change direction. Don't break the plane of your body. Uh, again, we're pivoting our feet. One thing that a lot of people do is they shift the body side to side like this. You don't want to do that. If the purpose of this exercise is a rotational exercise. So instead of turning this way and lunging over this leg this way, you're rotating, crouching down, rotating. Your upper body's going to shift a little bit, but you don't want your head to go past your feet this way so that you're almost falling over. So it should look like this. Just like that. <clears throat> Another thing that a lot of people do is they end up swinging the ball down here, okay? What you want to do is keep the ball straight out in front of you, 
lock your arms out just like this. Your nose should always be lined up with the ball at first. Once you get more uh, experience with it and you practice it, you'll be able to do it looking straight forward the right way. But for now, as long as you don't get dizzy, you want to keep your eyes on the ball. That way your body follows the ball and everything stays together. So the ball should be right in the middle of your chest. When you turn to the side, the ball is still lined up with the middle of your chest. When you go all the way down, the ball is still lined up with the middle of your chest. Okay, and it's the same time when you go side to side too. Same as that thing, the ball is going to stay in line with the middle of your chest. So you got 10 chops straight up and down, 10 horizontal swings, 10 diagonal chops this way, 10 diagonal chops the other way. I'm going to demonstrate right now just doing five of everything so you can see. So that is the medicine ball chopper warm up. Um, I usually prescribe about two or three sets of that to warm up, uh, along with some other stuff, some dynamic flexibility. But that will get you warmed up, you'll break a sweat, get your muscles warmed up, and you're also working on dynamic flexibility when you're doing that. So try that out, let me know what you think. Make sure you always do a warm up also before you work out. That's very important. A lot of people don't warm themselves up properly. Jumping up on a treadmill is great if you're going to start doing lifting weights. You want to jump on a treadmill, get your heart rate going, break a sweat, but you're not really uh, getting your body ready to do the specific activities that you're going to be doing during that training session. So make sure you do some kind of muscle activation along with dynamic flexibility and also central nervous system activation, which there'll be another video to follow with, um, with those two categories in it. So try this out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Join the movement.